So this particular student, this is a 39-year-old man from United States who used the app and then contacted me for help. And uh, uh, in speaking with him, uh, he dropped out of high school and was later uh, diagnosed uh, as dyslexic by a psychologist but uh, could never afford to get help. Uh, so let's look at his results. So he names the alphabet 90% and letter sounds. And we'll take a look at those errors. Uh, they were both timed out after three seconds for naming the alphabet. But notice the timeouts are all visual. Uh, Q, D, P, B, P, D. When we go to letter sounds, um, when he heard B, he could not, he chose D. Uh, this was a timeout when he heard A. Uh, he couldn't decide between a, uh, a, uh, and a uh, in th in three seconds, which is a very long time for an adult. When we get to two sounds, again we see his errors. What's what's quite interesting, and this is what we see for severe dyslexics, that we see this visual visual dyslexia, and I'm using the definition of Dr. Nancy Mather in her wonderful book, uh, Dyslexia Assessment. Uh, Dr. Mather is a researcher in dyslexia at the University of Arizona. So when Alan heard av, he picked va. When he heard et, he picked te. Now auditory, when he heard ye, he picked ya. Now these timeout errors are actually part of the assessment because Dyslexics process language slowly because they're using the wrong part of the brain to read. So those timeouts are actually counted as errors and they're part of, and they're part of the assessment. Uh, when we go down to three phonemes, three sounds, we see a similar pattern. This is the silent E rule. So when he heard dod, he picked dob, but when he heard reich, he picked rook. Now, our training will improve his processing speeds. And you can see here, this completely explains uh, why he struggles with reading. And we know from the work of Dr. Marianne Wolf. Uh, in her wonderful book, Proust and the Skid, The Story and Science of the Reading Brain, that when reading is slow and takes effort, then comprehension is affected. So here we have the constant, constant, vowel, consonant. This is, of course, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, particularly challenging for dyslexics. And this is the very challenging, you know, vowel blends. The good news is that Alan will be trained in, he'll be trained at over 90% of all of, in all of these. And not only that, will he be a more uh, accurate in his decoding, but also much more rapid. Now you might ask, why do we emphasize pseudo words? Well, the reason for that is, uh, and the idea comes from Dr. Uh, Sally Shaywitz in her wonderful book, Overcoming Dyslexia. But, but the reason why we emphasize pseudo words or non-words is that dyslexics can't memorize them. It forces them to decode. And also, we know that 
multisyllable words, like say entertainment or audacious, etc., are all made up of these pseudo words. And we know from thousands of students that when they learn to decode these pseudo words automatically, they can read fluently right up to college level with college level comprehension. So uh, thank you very much. And that's a little summary of why the app is such an effective dyslexia screener.